Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out how you can upgrade your Tel Latitude 7310 or what you actually can upgrade on it and of course we're gonna have a closer look on components and obviously you're gonna see how you can open up this little machine as well. You have to remove all the screws from the back panel. I have to say now the screws really don't come out, they stay in so you just have to loosen them. You need pretty standard uh, Phillips screwdriver like I have there. I'm gonna leave the links in description so if you're looking for a similar one great they're actually nice ones the there's good few bits with them 57 bits i think so all what's left to do now is just to remove the back cover itself it comes off relatively easy so take care there's a closer look now on the back panel as well inside and outside as you see the latitude 7310 and bunch of other details there as well That's inside look, just in case you're looking for a part, you know how it looks. There you go, pretty basic, I have to say good news and bad news. Bad news is, uh, RAM is not upgradable. There's a battery, there's your solid state drive under that. That's kind of a heatsink or cover. That's your CPU fan. And there is your Wi-Fi card under that. We're gonna have a closer look now so you can see the components a bit closer. That's your battery, of course. Good enough battery. There's a battery connection which we're gonna disconnect before we're gonna remove the solid state drive. Just for safety, that's all. That's your CPU fan, now closer look. And your Wi-Fi card on the left there as well. They are great little machines, I have to say. Only thing is, sadly now RAM is not upgradable. This machine has have 16 gigs on board, so that's what I'm stuck with. If you have 8 gigs on the same machine, too bad. Okay, before you start removing the solid state drive, you have to remove that uh, little heatsink or cover. There's a closer look now on this one as well. Okay, before you remove your solid state drive, I do recommend uh, disconnecting battery. It's simple enough. You have to just pull that uh, black thingy there towards you and that's it. Battery disconnected. Now you can uh, remove your solid state drive. Have removed them before battery connected and nothing happened. So probably not a big deal if you leave it connected, but just it only takes a second to disconnect. So I do recommend it. At the moment there's a 256 gigabyte on board and I'm gonna swap that to one terabyte. There you go, it's Micron, 256 gigs. This laptop came now with it. Uh, I, I don't know, was that originally there or not, but that's, that's what was in it anyway. So I'm gonna put the Samsung one terabyte in it and install the system again and we're gonna go later to windows and show some specs as well i show you some specs as well that's the drive now it's gonna go in it's one terabyte good enough drives i suppose same thing i'm gonna leave the link in the description if you're looking for same one or similar one i'm gonna leave a few others as well so if you're looking for maybe more powerful or yeah that's it that's how it looks like now out of the package 970 evo plus great drives cheap enough as well that i actually i got that i think it was around 60 dollars not more anyway slide that back in screw goes back in there and uh, don't forget the uh, cover as well And as I said, great laptop, 
you can upgrade solid state drive no problem sadly no you can't upgrade ram so i've seen these laptops with eight gigs before so if you have same one with eight gigabyte that's it that's all you have same goes to cpu obviously and gpu you can't upgrade them or change them to anything else so only really upgradable part is solid state drive or wi-fi card if you wish to change that or upgrade for better one that's it connect the battery back again and back cover goes after that in again or on again so upgrading is done for this little laptop so after a few moments we're gonna put into windows and i'm gonna go just through a few short specs there nothing special just to show you there's 16 gigs on board and there's one terabyte uh, working on it of course do remember you have to install reinstall windows again once you change your solid state drive so okay screws are nearly back in there so we can boot into windows in a very short second that's it now we're in the windows and we're gonna go now just to show you some specifications of this laptop just right click on it go to properties i'm gonna show you 16 gigs as you see latitude 7310 core i5 10 generation so one terabyte works perfectly on these ones no problems at all i'm gonna go to device manager now as well so you can see the specs there that's your drive obviously it doesn't show up there as one terabyte it's always less go to device manager and here we are now just a few seconds that's your drive there samsung 970 evo plus one terabyte okay guys hopefully this was helpful now for someone who's looking for to information about upgrading this machine if it was thumbs up please and subscribe of course and you know what have a good life bye bye